Just to the point how you changed my life, bro. That man really changed my life, bro. I remember back then, before I know, I knew of him. I used to listen to people saying, entertain, entertain, you know what I'm saying? Especially on TikTok. I would see those public interviews asking people, do you like entertain? And they will say, nah. Why? This is my side things. To be honest, me also I believe that shit. I used to be like, man, I don't like entertain, man. When I don't even know him, I would be like, this is my side business. Because everybody was saying it. I was an NPC. And it's crazy how I went from being an NPC, hating Andrew Tate, to being a big fan of Andrew Tate that in my high school, people started nicknaming me Tate. Just crazy. They started nicknaming me Top G, bro. And someone call me Tate. There's a guy who saved my number as Tate, bro. <laughs> so it's crazy, man. How that nigga reached my life. It changed my life to the fact I was talking about him at school, you know, when I listen to people in the same condition I was always in, told them, bro, that's shit, man. Change your language, do this, do this, man. That guy really changed my fucking life, G. That's not cap, that's facts, bro. I used, I used to be depressed, man, like, really, really depressed. Before, I didn't not feel anything like depression, but there's a girl who did a presentation on Crossroads, man. She did a presentation about depression. Bro, I did, I used to feel like I'm saying, but that was not a big thing. But she used to tell us about depression, how depression is so, is so scary, how depression kills, you know, how do, how you can kill yourself, those type of things, man. So she would ask everybody in our classroom to tell her how about our situation. She would ask you, do you sometimes feel sad? Yeah, yeah. And she said, you got depression, bro. Yo. So you in the back. Okay, back to the point, man. You tell her your situation should be like, bro, you're depressed. And she gonna tell you, give me the measures, what you gonna do, what you gonna do there, do this. Spend time with people, you know, enjoy some music, smile, you're gonna fight depression. Like, you start believing depression on a level, you start fighting it, bro. And to be honest, that really damaged me, bro. Usually, I used to feel sad, but not depressed. But when I really believe that the shit of depression, man, that shit really got me, bro. That shit really got me. It made me sick, bro. There's a time when I was, I was shaking, you know what I'm saying? I was shaking, bro. I was feeling depressed. I started doing things, I was dancing at that time. And I started dancing because I said I was depressed. Imagine the left I got, bro. Man, when I remember, be like, how crazy was I, man? I hopped on Entertainment video, it was a short video, talking about how nothing is wrong today, how everything now is good. You feel what I'm saying? How everything is good, no problem, everything's fine, and why we should not be said in advance, you know what I'm saying? A bad day is coming. For all of us in our future, there's a 100% probability that either we're gonna die or someone we love is gonna die. You will have a reason to be upset soon enough. Why are you doing it in advance? Nothing's wrong today. Oh, well, you're flat tired. Mm -hmm. People are so emotionally reactive to low level stuff. And I was like, man, this guy has a point. Like, bro, this guy really, really has a point, bro. Why are we sad? There's a lot of people who wanna be me, like, bro. So, it was not the first video of Andrew Tate I ever hopped on. Because the first video I hopped on was a video of him talking shit about university, how university doesn't make people rich and that stuff things, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, bro, this guy is a dickhead, man. Because the current education system is read, read, read. It's not do, 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 it's read, read, read. And that's why most people who come out of school can't do shit. That's why college and university is a complete waste of time. I did not go to university. The most successful people I know did not go to university. I do not have four years to dedicate to sitting there reading books of outdated knowledge when all the latest information in the world's on my internet Google browser for free anyway and listen to some dork who's never made any money in his life tell me how to live my life. It's, it's complete garbage. If you meet anyone who's successful near any field, most of them didn't go university. Now I understand there's some professions where you need to go university to become a doctor, blah, blah, blah. I understand that. My point is in general is that the whole education system is not based on doing things, it's based on reading things. And this is why, if you want information on how to get something done, you need to speak to somebody who can do stuff. 
So if I'm gonna learn piano, I wanna learn piano from somebody who plays piano, not somebody who's read how to play piano. That time I was applying to go study in USA, those type of things, bro. I was about to take my scene shit, you know, working. I'm about to do this, do that, go to university, do this, you know what I'm saying? So that time, I was like, this guy is crazy. Also, I've done another video talking shit about teachers. I was like, bro, you're crazy, man. I'm going to university, fuck it. But I wouldn't have to another view of depression. Talking how depression is in real. How people would really, really swap their, their lives to be like me. I was like, bro, you got a point, man. That time is the first time I ever felt better in my heart. That, that depression shit I used to feel, I don't know where it went. I realized my life is good. No reason to be depressed. No reason to kill myself. I'm good. That's what I'm saying. My life is amazing. No reason to be sad. No reason to be shit, bro. No reason to be miserable. That really flipped the switch in me. That really motivated me, bro. That really took the pain away. That's when I started being kind of down. Oh, okay, I take it. I, I'm almost about to get the same motherfucker, bro. I take it. I take it. That's the time we reach the flip, the flip the switch in me, bro. Another way I entered it changed my life, bro. I started going to the gym. Usually I don't post because uh, I saw a video of Andrew Tate talking about how you should let actions speak for yourself. How you don't need to open your mouth. When people kind of see me in a great physical condition, they gotta know I've been going to the gym. So it's been a month and uh, no steroids, bro. No steroids, no creatine, no, no shit, nothing. No creatine, no protein, no steroids, nothing. Just pure work, bro. And eating eggs, beans, those type of things, meat, that's what I eat. And um, I don't really post going to the gym because I think that's like talking. That's like talking, I'm making money. When I see people making money with their forex trading and they make money and they be like, blah, 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 I made this money. I don't do that because then you take say, you should not open your mouth. Actions should speak for themselves, bro. Besides your loud mouth, what do you have that make people know you're truly a man? People walk in my house, they can see, okay, I'm financially successful. They look at my body, they know I'm motivated, disciplined, I'm extremely strong. They look at my world title belts, they know I can fight. They look at the woman on my arm, they know that I am worthy of respect because she treats me with absolute respect. They look at my network, they see that men treat me with absolute respect. I don't have to open my mouth. Do you project true bravery? Do you project true confidence? Or do you need to talk to try and convince people of these things? They say confidence is quiet. It can also be very loud, but you don't want to live in a delusion. That's what I do, man. When people gotta see me in a rainbow, they gotta know I'll be making money. I know I don't need to post on Instagram or what on that I make one hundred dollars in a day. Nah, I don't need that, bro. When people gotta see me, everything changing, life changing. They gotta know I'll be making money. When they gotta see me huge, they gotta know I'll be going to the gym. When they gotta see me a beautiful girl, they gotta know. I deserve respect, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know I'm a man, G. I don't need to talk about it. That's also another point that really changed my life. Improved me on my relationships, bro. I used to be needy. I used to be needy, bro. Super needy, bro. A girl would flick me like three times. Three! And I would still come back. Damn. Then I was a nerd, bro. When I looked that time, I'd be like, but I don't be myself for it. I was needy and um, everything told me you don't need to be needy. Bitches come and go. You should not be needy. Should not be needy, bro. Should be a G. And to be honest, I stopped being a G that time, bro. I stopped being a G. I stopped doing good, you know what I'm saying? I stopped approaching girl, good, you know what I'm saying? Smooth, everything fine, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes sir, bro. I start doing things, man, you know what I'm saying? I start, yeah, I start proving like type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because you need to understand that half of the people on this planet, 50% of all people alive are females. So that woman you think is so special, that one you really want, she's so special, she ain't special, bro. Get that shit out of your head straight away. So the more special you think she is, the more you're gonna fuck up when you talk to her. She takes a shit in the morning like everyone else. It's a fucking human. There's girls prettier than her around. Maybe you ain't got their phone numbers, but they exist. So you gotta go out and get them. So don't be trying too hard. The other way Angel Tate has improved my life, bro, is the way that I start streaming. Angel Tate really emphasizes on the fact that the modern day's currency is attention. 
He talks about a lot of times in his interviews, podcasts, everything he does. He said the modern day's currency is attention. To make money, you better gather attention. You better stop consuming content, you better stop producing. Produce, produce, produce. People gonna give you attention. That's why I start streaming, bro. And it is not because I like streaming, it is not because I really have that, that too much passion, but I had a broke mind. I would just sit in cross room chilling, and he can't tell me, bro, you can do this. And uh, I was like, okay, yeah, cool, I'm gonna try. But when I reached home, I was like, why are all the people, you know, why did they tell me to stop streaming? I was like, man, bro, let me do it, let me do it. So I was like, bro, I took a, a, not, a not part in the pain. I just saw a video saying, write 20 reasons. Why do you think you are good at whatever you're gonna do? Do mind, bro, mind storming. So I was like, let me do a mind storming of me streaming. Let me write 20 points, bro. I write 20 points, but it came easy. I, did, I didn't expect to become that easy, bro. So it came easy, like my hand was really prepared for that. I just done it. And uh, I was like, bro, I can sing, I can dance, I can. Bro, I do a lot of things I can dance, I can I'm funny, I'm, I can do this, I can do challenges, I can do this, bro And uh, yeah, maybe that guy saw the same skills in me I was like, bro, these people really appreciate it So I start streaming I start streaming, now I'm about to complete my second month Yeah, and I'm gonna keep pushing It's all because I'm entertained Entertained, emphasize on the more than this currency is attention And I'm gonna find attention, I'm still streaming and I'ma keep going, bro. And also, I've not give up because I think this time is the when a lot of people give up because it's when it gets really, really hard, bro. It gets really, really hard. But entertainment says when a Ferrari breaks and the Nissan doesn't break, a Nissan beats a Ferrari. If you never give up, you never truly fail because you only lose once you stop. If you get hit and you get up again, and you get hit and you get up again, and you get hit and you never stay down, then you have never truly failed at any task. And if every single time you get hit, you feel more emboldened, more enraged, more angry, and more determined to succeed, then you only grow stronger. A Nissan should never break a Ferrari, but if the Ferrari breaks down halfway, and the Nissan keeps going, the Nissan is going to so I'm never giving up bro, I'm never giving up And you take three, also took that switch of giving up Because of giving up dancing, because of depression Imagine if I give up on streaming because it's hard That would be gay I'm not doing it I'm not doing it